today's video, we're going to learn how to make our first sounds on our French horn mouthpiece. So let's begin by thinking the syllable M. Now think fancy M. You notice when you do that, how these facial muscles and chin muscles engage. Now also notice how our chin is flat, the chin gets that natural curve to it, and the corners curve down to the chin. Notice your lips are flush. So go ahead and do that for a few seconds. Let's talk about embouchure and aperture. Embouchure are the muscles around the lips that give support. Our aperture is the space that we form between the lips so that allows the air to go into the instrument. Now the aperture is not a circle, it's not a pucker. It's gonna be an elliptical slit. It's longer than it is taller. So longer than taller, not a pucker. Now when we set our mouthpiece on our face, the French horn mouthpiece is not going to be even for most people. It's going to be one third <clears throat> on the bottom lip and two thirds on the top. Now this is all relative also based on facial structures, but you'll get the picture of what we're talking about here. Now an easy way to do this is just to start with your mouthpiece up like this and just bring it down so that it touches the lip and then you'll end up getting that ratio of two thirds to one third pretty close. And Then you can adjust it. Now when we breathe, we're going to breathe through the corners. We want to keep contact with our lips on the top and bottom in the center of the rim with our top and bottom lip. So let's all do that. Let's all breathe in and exhale through our mouthpiece. Now let's go ahead and bring our lips closer together. Let's form our aperture, our elliptical slit. And let's go ahead and make our first sound. If you didn't get any sound, start by bringing the lips closer together and make the elliptical slit a little fall, a little smaller. first sounds on your French horn mouthpiece. So remember, fancy M. Remember the corners curve down. We got a flat chin. This has got our curve to the chin. Remember that our embouchure muscles support the lips and our aperture is longer than it is taller. And that's how we make our first sounds on our French horn mouthpiece.